Hi. In this video of ink pot, we talk about the next very important concept, which is the concept of relative wages. Now, you get a direct question on relative wages a lot of times. We continue with the same example of cheese and wine, home and foreign country. And now, I've changed the values a little bit. So, we are saying home country ko ek unit cheese ka produce karne ke liye ek ghanta lagta hai, aur wine ko produce karne ke liye do ghanta lagta hai. Foreign country takes two hours to produce a unit of cheese and three hours to produce a unit of wine. Then, we are also given that the price of cheese is rupees 12 and the price of wine is also rupees 12. Let me correct that. The price of cheese, the price of cheese is rupees 12 and the price of wine is also rupees 12. Right? So when the price of cheese is rupees 12, when the price of wine is also rupees 12, how do we figure out the relative wages? We know home is specializing in cheese. We also know foreign is specializing in wine. Hai na? So, imagine karo ki home ne sara ka sara labor jo hai, all the labor is going towards cheese. And for the foreign, the entire labor is going towards wine. Then, one hour a home, I'm talking about home first, one hour produces one unit of cheese and that unit of cheese is worth rupees 12. So, that means one labor hour is worth rupees 12 which means the wage rate in the home country is rupees 12. In a foreign country, in 3 hours, we produce 1 unit of wine. So, and 1 unit of wine is worth rupees 12, which means 3 hours are worth rupees 12, which means the wage rate per hour is going to be 12 by 3, which is 4, which is 4 rupees. Right, so the relative wage will be W upon W star, which is 3. W upon W star, which is 3. And if you relate to it, this is nothing but this difference. So, 3 upon 1 is again 3. So, relative wage is actually dependent upon the this thing. But relative wage is also dependent upon this price. So, let's take another example. Same thing. We have home. We have foreign. We have the price of cheese or the, sorry, the labor hours requirement of cheese and wine. The same thing as what we just studied. Okay, my same, same, I'm changing this. I'm saying price of cheese is rupees, let's say, 12. But the price of wine is, let's say, double. It is rupees 24. Then what is W and W star? So, like we said, one hour in the home country can produce one unit of cheese, which is worth rupees 12. So, W is 12. In the foreign country, 3 hours can produce 1 unit of wine, which is worth rupees 24. So, in foreign country, 3 hours is worth rupees 24, which means W star, which is 1 hour, is worth rupees 8. So, then the differential becomes W upon W star, which is 12 by 8, which is whatever, which is 3 by 2, which is 1.5. Right? You see how the differential reduced? Why did the differential reduce? Because of the differences in the price of cheese and wine. Right? So, if I speak very uh, effectively, so I am saying that relative wage, do cheezo ke upe depend karte hai. Relative wage is dependent on relative productivity. So, aapka jo good hai, wo aap kitne efficiently produce kar sakte as compared to the other country. Secondly, it depends upon the relative scarcity because relative scarcity defines the relative price and when this defines the relative price this will define the relative wages so do we understand relative wages relative wages is dependent upon two things it's dependent on prices and it's dependent on the relative productivities and you can actually just go on taking a variety of more examples and understanding it but that's all there was on relative wages in the next video we're going to start talking about a little more about theory of international eco chapter 3 thank you